Hi, welcome back to the Solutions Manual. In this video, we will solve the problem 7 1 from RC Hibaler Engineering Statics 12th edition. According to this problem, we have to determine the internal normal force and shear force and the pending moment in the beam at point C and D. Assume the support at B is a roller. Point C is located just to the right of the 8 kip load. Now, to solve this problem, we have to draw all the support reactions. Point A is pin supported. So I have so I have one vertical component and one horizontal component of reactions. The point B is a roller supported, so I just have a vertical component of reaction. So let's label them. This right here is AX, this is AY, and this is BY. To find the values of these unknowns, I have to apply equilibrium equations. So my first equation would be summation of moments at point A equals to zero. I am considering counterclockwise direction as positive. Since the line of action of the AX and AY is passing through the point A, so AX and AY will not produce any moment about point A because they don't have any moment down with respect to the point A. This 8 kip force is trying to rotate the beam in clockwise direction about point A. So the moment produced by this 8 kip force will be taken as negative. And the moment arm is this 8 foot distance. The BY is trying to rotate the beam in counterclockwise direction about point A. So the moment produced by this BY will be taken as positive. And the moment arm is 8 plus 8 plus 8, 24 feet. Also, we have our uh, external moment, which is given as 40 kip fit and it is counterclockwise and I have considered counterclockwise direction as positive. It would be taken as 40. The external counterclockwise moment equals to zero. So from here, BY comes out to be one kip. Similarly, for AX, I can do summation of forces in X direction equals to zero. So I just have the a single force which is AX. So AX is equals to zero. And for AY, I can do summation of forces in Y direction equals to zero. I am considering the up direction as positive. So we have AY minus 8 plus BY equals to zero and ay minus 8 and by is 1 kip so plus 1 equals to 0 so from here ay comes out to be 7 kip so these are our support reactions now we have to find the internal forces at the point c and d so if i make a section at point c and if i just consider this left hand side of the beam then the section would look something like this so for point C. I have a horizontal support reaction and the vertical support reaction at point A. At point C, I have the external load of 8 kip acting in a downward direction. Also, because of this section, I have the normal force onto the section. I have a shear force which I am assuming it in the vertically upward direction and also I do have an internal bending moment and I am assuming it as a counterclockwise. So let's label them. This right here is AX, this is AY, this is 8 kip force, this is NC, this is VC and let's call this internal moment as just M and this distance is 8 feet. So now we have to find the values of these internal forces and the bending moment. So we are going to use our equilibrium equations. So my first equation would be summation of moment at point C equals to zero. I am considering the counterclockwise direction as positive. So first of all, I have this internal bending moment at point C, which is I have assumed as counterclockwise. So I would take it as positive. Since the line of action of the VC force NC force and this 8 kip force are passing through the point C. 
So they will not produce any movement with respect to the point C because they don't have any movement down with respect to the point C. Also, the AX, if I extend the line of action of this AX force, then it will also pass through the point C. So AX will not produce any movement about point C as well because its line of action is passing through the point C. It does not have any movement down with respect to the point C. So now I have only a single force left, which is the force AY. And AY will try to rotate this beam in clockwise direction about point C. So the moment produced by this AY force will be taken as negative. At the moment arm is this 8 fit distance equals to 0. So from here M is equals to AY times 8. And AY we have calculated is 7, 7 kip. So the internal pending moment at C comes out to be 56 kip fit. This is our first answer. For NC, I can do summation of forces in x direction equals to 0. I am considering the right hand side as positive. So we have AX plus NC equals to 0. And since we had calculated earlier that AX is 0, so it means NC is also 0. This is our second answer. And for VC, I can do summation of forces in y direction equals to 0. I am considering up direction as positive. So we have AY minus 8 plus VC equals to 0. So AY is 7 kip as we had calculated earlier. So 7 minus 8 plus VC equals to 0. So from here, the internal the shear force comes out to be 1 kip. This is our third answer. Now we have to repeat the similar procedure for the section B as well. Let me zoom out. If I make a section at point D, the section would look something like this. And if I just consider the right hand side of the P because I have less forces on the right hand side of this section D. And if I draw it separately, this would look something like this. So for point D, I have the force BY because of this roller at B. I have this external 40 kip fit moment in counterclockwise direction. At the section D, I would have a normal force, a shear force, which I'm assuming it in the downward direction, and I also have an internal bending moment, which I'm considering a clockwise, which I'm assuming it as clockwise. So let's call this M dash to distinguish it from the M. This right here is the ND and this is VD. And the length of this section is 8 feet. So this right here is 8 feet. Again, we have to apply the equations of equilibrium to find the internal forces and the pending moment. My first equation would be summation of moments at point D equals to 0. I am considering the counterclockwise direction as positive. So since the ND and VD are passing through the point D, so they don't have any moment down with respect to the point D, so they will not produce any moment about the point D. So I have this internal bending moment which I had assumed as clockwise. So I would take it as negative M dash. I have this external counterclockwise external moment so i would take it as positive because it's counterclockwise and i have the moment produced by this by force and the by is trying to rotate the beam in counterclockwise direction about the point d so the moment produced by this by force will be taken as positive and the moment arm is 8 fit 
equals to zero. So negative m dash plus 40 plus by and by came out to be one kip. So from here, m dash comes out to be 48 kip fit. So this is our fourth answer. Now for N D, I can do summation of forces in x direction equals to zero. I am considering the right hand side as positive. So we have negative N D equals to zero, which means N D is zero. This is our fifth answer. And for V D, I can do summation of forces in y direction equals to zero. I am considering the up direction as positive. So we have negative VD plus BY equals to zero. So VD is equals to BY, which we had calculated earlier as one hip. So this is our sixth answer. It looks like a two, so let me adjust it. So this is it for this problem. I hope you will find this video helpful. If you do, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. And if you have any questions or any doubts about the cross section or the three body diagrams, then feel free to ask in the comment section and I will answer it as soon as possible. Thank you.